what is up guys welcome back to my channel and today is a very exciting day we bought a barnuminium you can kind of see it behind me ah! <laughs> today's the tour we have not moved a single thing in other than a few packages that arrived today um, but literally the house is completely empty so this is the start of a series. Um, it also has another detached pole barn behind me. So this is going to be awesome for some more storage. Um, as you guys know, Chris and I have a ton of cars. We have a lot of projects and trucks and this is insane. The start of the series of living in a barnuminium and owning a barnuminium and what we like, what we don't like and all that fun stuff. So here's the tour. One thing is we want to definitely pave, get a nice paved pad here um, and then pave the driveway as well because the mud is definitely not fun. Um, but yeah, I'll swing around. So yeah, we found this house, this barnuminium uh, listed on Zillow and we jumped on it. I mean, we really, really jumped on it. It's beautiful. No one ever lived here. The couple built it and never moved in. So Chris and I are just so excited. Chris is not here yet. So he is dropping off some paperwork at like the local township hall or something local. I don't know. Um, I told him, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go get a jump on the vlog and <laughs> start it. So super, super excited. Um, he'll be here in a minute. And then we're going to go grab the trailer full of most of our furniture. So really excited. Cool, nice backyard area. We don't have grass, obviously. Um, we have a few neighbors nearby, but nothing crazy. Um, here's the porch. I think the porch, the front porch is so cute. I love the wood. I love the colors. And yeah, let's go on inside. So right away, huge closet. Very excited about this. And then boom, we're right into the living room. So excited, super tall ceilings. Absolutely love this. Our couch is gonna be delivered tomorrow and goes into our kitchen. So super tall ceilings. I love the natural light in here. It's just beautiful. Like I said, all we have moved in is so far our packages. We already have an ice maker. We love ice. We are ice people. So um, really excited about this kitchen. I am excited to one, learn how to cook i know how to cook a few things but not much so it's gonna be kind of crazy learning to cook in here but this is a great kitchen to like do it um i love i love the backsplash the countertops everything is so neutral and goes so nicely together um a big fridge our microwave is underneath here Love this huge pantry. I think this is going to be perfect for all of our snacks and just hiding anything we don't want to put on the counters. It'll go in here. Area, this is going to be kind of like a drink little like coffee bar um, drink area. So we'll definitely fill this up with some cups and some wine up there. Um, we ordered a nice little, what is it called? Wine cooler, wine fridge. Yeah, so that's going to go here. So this is going to be definitely utilized. Um, this goes into the basement. Yeah, that looks scary. Um, it's not finished, so we're not going to go down there. <laughs> Here we are in the half bathroom. <laughs> so I love these countertops. I'm obsessed. I love the blue, and then it's just super simple, small. I think I'm going to put some cool artwork on the wall, maybe car-related. It's the door to the garage. That's going to be in a minute. <laughs> There's no deck, no pavement, nothing. We're definitely thinking of like adding to that out there. Fireplace. This is super cool little fireplace. And then ignore the wires. We have some speakers and our TV coming tomorrow. So we're so excited about that. Stairs to go upstairs. Love the look of these. This carpet, guys. Oh my God. It's magical. I wish carpet was everywhere. Uh, so here is the primary or the master. Uh, so not lots of natural light, which I love. We're going to be putting a TV up there. Um, just, I love these floors. I love everything about this house. It is so, so pretty. Fucking closet. So check this out. I'm going to have to fight Chris for half of it. 
Homeboy is going to try to take it all. He is. And I'm not going to deal with it. I'm thinking, hear me out, okay? So start from this wall. Go about to here. This should be Chris's, right? And then from here, all the way around should be mine. I think, right? Yeah, I think so. That's just what I think. I don't understand how that boy has so many clothes. All of his clothes are race car t-shirts and jeans. No idea. Master or primary bathroom. So it's a double sink. Again, love this countertop. It kind of reminds me of like cookies and cream. I love it. Cabinets match everywhere. Floor matches. I love it. Huge, huge shower. I think this is so pretty. Got some hooks, of course the toilet. And then huge storage cabinet. I think that is so, so smart for towels and extra little things to hide, you know, just hide everything, especially with all this cabinet too. Like it's so smart. Whoever designed that, so smart. That is our tour of the downstairs of our bar dominium. Now let's head upstairs. Here's kind of the overhead view of everything. And here is going to be the guest bedroom. I'm assuming that they had like a child or something because everything else is gray, white, neutral. Um, and then this green color came out of nowhere. I'm going to say a door handle. Okay. Hmm. I wonder where that went. Oh, okay. well, they definitely were so smart with storage, huge cabinets to store all of our junk and hide any type of like blankets or towels or I don't know, anything and everything that you could imagine will go in these cabinets. Guest bathroom, um, double sink, so, so pretty. Circle, big mirrors, absolutely love it. Oh, I hear Chris pulling in. Chris is driving my truck because we have to go get the trailer full of furniture and his truck won't be able to pull it. So I can hear my truck pulling down the driveway. And here's the toilet and here's the shower. Super pretty, super simple, nothing crazy. Come on in. I'm filming. First burp of the house. <laughs> Welcome home, baby. Oh, I pulled, I grabbed the packages that were outside. Sweet. So, all right, I'm gonna finish the tour up here and then I'm gonna show the camera the garage if you wanna join me. Cool. Okay, all right, so the last room that I haven't shown you guys is going to be my office. So today we're gonna put a TV up on this wall and then again, another very large uh, closet. Like, look at this closet floor space. Like, I'm blown away. Um, so it's gonna be so, so nice to have my own office. I've never had my own office before. I've been working out of my like childhood bedroom at home or I have my little office space at work um, that I share a desk with multiple people. So yeah, I'm very excited. We're gonna design a really cute room. I'm gonna have like a nice desk. I'm gonna have a lot of my little Ford like trinkets <laughs> on the wall um i collected a lot over the few years working at ford motor company so we're gonna have a lot of ford stuff in here all right guys chris is here so we are gonna head downstairs and i'm gonna show you the garage now chris we're live we're live all right we have shown or i have shown everyone the house while you were not here we are now gonna show them the garage I had to stop at the old uh Township Hall. Okay, that's what I thought. Off the tax paperwork, so we get to pay taxes to be here. Nice. We love taxes. Yeah. All right. Love taxes. Let's go into the garage, and then you can tell everyone your kind of plans and your project idea for the garage. Let's go. Okay. So off this hallway, Boom. as you guys can see, is uh. It's kind of a dungeon right now. It is a dungeon. It's a 1,300 square foot loft. So it will be sweet one day. Hopefully the Own Boss podcast studio up there. That'd be so sick. This is our 3,200 square foot attached garage. Behind me, we got the big door. Somebody else had different plans for that. Not gonna fit in our plans. So we're gonna pull that door off the wall. 
We're going to wall it all in, put siding in it, make it look like it was never there. We're going to put that garage door right next to these ones. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a tall one for the big lifted trucks that can come in that one. And then we're going to put another probably 8 by 16 or 8 by 18 uh, door in next to that. So we'll have four garage doors along this wall. So the main goal would be is to be able to drive the cars in this way. Mm -hmm. And then in that back corner, we're going to have three four post lifts coming this way. So you're going to be able to drive onto them like that. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to store six cars on and off the four post lifts in this corner. And then another three in front of them. And then right here. About this ish area, mm -hmm. we'll build a two post lift, toolbox along the wall, uh, a little bit of space next to it for a little bit of a fab area, work on parts area, things along those lines. And uh, we're gonna make it look pretty, not super cold like it is right now. And we're gonna put a big heater in here and uh, drywall and insulate, put lights in. I mean, there's already some lights, but I'm sure we're gonna get more. paint the walls, make it look pretty, make it look beautiful. It's gonna be a super, super cool shop. It's gonna be the coolest shop ever. That it will be, it'll be fun. It's it'll not be. gonna be cold, it's gonna be nice and inviting, and we're gonna do all of our YouTube videos, all of our content in this garage, so it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be sweet. Yep, so lots of lifts, lots of project cars, lots of trucks. So we already got it full. It's already full. If it was done, we'd have all the cars here to fill it up so yeah so that's kind of the plans um and then here i'll turn it around because this is kind of the entrance that we just walked in there's a little side door right there so this area i want to put okay i really want to put in this kind of random area i want to put like a sauna and a plunge <laughs> what do you think of that babe sauna and a plunge. That sounds cool i don't i don't not like it i a fridge out there everybody garage fridge oh garage fridge yeah so garage fridge will fit somewhere garage fridge but yeah i think a sauna and a plunge will be so perfect right here because with this like little with this little like angle the plunge would fit perfect and then you won't hit your head or anything so you're just that's, true. that's, true. <laughs> that's what i thought of right away and it sounds weird but like right there would be perfect spot for your harley that is it true. would be like out of the way and like that is true or you could do it Honestly, yeah, over there would be good too. Or golf cart could go right there. Golf cart, four wheeler. Four wheeler. Four wheeler. The Grom. The Grom. The scooters. The scooters. <laughs> we have so much stuff, guys. <laughs> that we do. We need to get rid of some of it. No, 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 no. Nothing yet. So. So yeah. So that is kind of the house tour. I did a little bit on the outside, a little bit on the inside. There's nothing in here yet because we haven't moved yet. So I will most likely be doing, slam the door. I will most likely be doing a, oh, he's locked out. Hello? Hey. What are you doing? I didn't realize that door locked. <laughs> <laughs> you got locked out, it's okay. So, <clears throat> anywho, I got to show you guys the front the back, the sides, everything kind of around the house so far. We have so much to do. So I guess stay tuned, watch the series on what it's like to own a Barnuminium, live in a Barnuminium, and build your project cars and make content out of a Barnuminium because I'm gonna be making so many more videos, so much content. So yeah, follow along guys. Thank you so much for watching and like, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, and share this, of course, to your friends that want to buy a Barnuminium. Thanks.